And now Bruce Gagnon, who's the coordinator of the Global Network Against Weapons and, am I right? Power. And Nuclear Power in Space. I often get it backwards and I apologize. I did it right today. Bruce. Hello, everyone. Beautiful weather today, right? Two weekends ago, the Global Network held its 25th annual space organizing conference in Huntsville, Alabama. And we stood on a Friday outside the gate of Redstone Arsenal for 90 minutes as thousands of workers drove out. We learned that <coughs> in a community of 200,000 people, one third of the local population are connected to the military industrial complex. So basically 70,000 out of 200,000 people work for the war machine in Huntsville, Alabama. And there they specialize on space, building missiles uh, for US first strike attack on other countries. Missiles that today are being used to surround Russia and China. Our membership came from around the world. Places like Yorkshire, England, where the U.S. has two space warfare bases stationed in those communities. Places like Korea, where the United States is now deploying so-called missile defense systems that are key elements in first strike attack planning and other places around the world. And in all these countries, there are people like you and I working daily to get U.S. bases shut down and to send U.S. troops home. <coughs> U.S. now has 800 military bases around the world, costing you an arm and a leg and social progress. The National Society of Engineers says America is falling apart. Our roads, our bridges, our sewer and water systems, the human infrastructure of the nation is collapsing because of this imperial war machine that we have today. So our job here at home, <coughs> hard enough as it is, to reach the American people who appear resigned, who appear to, to be depressed about this imperial war machine that we have today. People don't think we can beat City Hall. Why even bother, they often say. But bother we must. Because we're talking about the future generations. We're talking about the other life forms on this planet the things that crawl, the things that fly, the things that swim, the plants. These are the, vo these are the uh, life forms that we have to give voice to in this moment where the American people's hearts have become cold and dead. Martin Luther King worried about the soul of America and sh surely we must worry about that soul today as we see the people resigned to this military industrial complex. So thank you for being here and thank you for continuing this important work. We must all continue on. We must convert the war machine, the war machine that exists in our own community of Bath, Maine, where recently nine of us were arrested, were arrested for standing in front of the gate on the day of a christening where the blessings of the Prince of Peace were given to a new destroyer. God help us all. Thank you.